This is the high peregrine andrasamen that we uh, pruned back earlier. Cut all the old dead woody stems off and you get this lovely new growth and we get a really nice yellow flower as you do with hypericum and then you'll have some berries, blackberries afterwards that take you through autumn and onwards. But it's a great shrub to have in the woodland garden. Brings a real great feature. This plant here is just recovering. It's just going to unfurl its leaves. This is an arum lily, Zadiscantia aethiopica. Now this grows really quite big uh, to about 50 centimetres, big leaves on it and have this fantastic flag lily that's on the top um, and can produce lots and lots of these huge flowers. And this is a great plant to have as a marginal plant actually and also in your woodland garden. Now of course if we're uh, talking woodland gardens we can't forget rhododendrons and azaleas. This one's just about ready to come out in flower. It's going to look fantastic. Now this shrub here is an azalea but it's a deciduous one, hence we've got these really great fresh new leaves. And these leaves in autumn will start going all rusty looking with red tints and gives a nice display then as well. And of course we've got the flower that comes out, which is quite stunning. But all in all, a nice shrub to have down here. Now this ground cover plant we've got here is Brunnera. And as you can see in April it gives you some fantastic colour in your woodland garden. Here's the Hypericum again with the bluebells and the stinking hellebore. As you can see the hypericum with its kind of uh, ready rusty leaves really brings in a nice feature. Now this is the lamium that I showed you in the other woodland video uh, that we mainly use for its leaf colour and ground coverage but as you can see it's got a fantastic flower on it as well. Uh, we're in April now and it's really given us quite a great display. If you've got a patch that's covered with this, you'll have this flower all over, which is quite pretty. Okay, this is the results of uh, pruning the epimedium way back in very late winter, early spring, cutting the leaves off. You can see these lovely new leaves coming up here with this red rusty edges and green veins, really fresh. And these are great flowers that have come through. Now if we'd have left the old leaves on here, they would have probably been quite tatty by now um, and spoiled the whole effect. But as you can see, it's looking rather great now. So this geranium here is uh, Geranium macroriza. I think I've pronounced it properly but I will put the name down the bottom for you and this one will tolerate really quite heavy shade and can really fill a gap and it's quite pretty as you can see when you come out in flower and will spread and fill an area quite quickly too Now this plant is uh, a Juga reptans and will tolerate a lot of shade and you can see as in April onwards you can see these lovely uh, spikes of flowers that come up and spreads very quickly as well 
and gives you a really nice drift through any border. Now another plant that isn't a woodland garden plant but um, I felt was worth a mention is heuchera. Now we have a lot of, a lot of people plant them in their borders and their bedding and things like that in the sunshine but they do also tolerate uh, shade as well. This one's in uh, quite heavy shade to dapple shade and as you can see by this little water feature here it's doing very very well. So just something that I wanted to point out to you in case you do have heuchera and you want to brighten up a little corner. Um, works very well with your hellebores with these ones here and we've got some hostas coming up too.